what is going on everyone welcome to my youtube channel and today we will be talking about enabling developer options and what extra features it can provide so we're going to go ahead and click our apps tray icon and click on settings and then we will go all the way down to the bottom here and I just want to let people know that I am running Android 7.0 and I have a Nexus 6P. So I'm going to go ahead and click about phone and then we're going to navigate all the way down to the bottom of this list where we're just going to click on build number and just keep clicking on that until it says that you are now a developer. So now that we are back at the main screen, if we go ahead and click our apps tray icon and click settings and navigate to the bottom again, we should have a developer options option in the menu now and we can click that and now we are presented with a bunch of features that we can try out and some of these are actually pretty useful as we scroll down here we have automatic system updates we could turn that on or off so that your phone can either update automatically or you can do it manually we're going to scroll by some of these options so the video won't be too long so if we scroll down more, we have some more options here. Cellular data always active. I like the sound of this. Turn it on if you want fast network switching between mobile and Wi-Fi. So if we go further down the menu here, we will have an option to disable absolute volume. And this is a great feature if you have a Bluetooth device that you connect and it may be unacceptably loud or you may have lack of control over the volume. Going down here, show taps, I always turn this feature on. I just love seeing the visual feedback. It's just pretty cool. And same thing with pointer location, except it just emphasizes more information. If we click this on, you'll see we'll get a long duration of information here and information at the top there. So not necessary, but useful. Going further down the list, we have show surface updates, not completely necessary, but it's fun to play with. Same as the show layout bounds. And this just shows the boundaries of different menus and icons. And these options, they're not really necessary, but they are kind of fun to play with. And they may even help with diagnosing your phone, anything like that. And I just wanna go ahead and show this, how this looks. It does look kind of cool. I wouldn't leave it on, but it's just something interesting. So again, we have a lot of options. You want to be careful because they can change your phone operation. So again, we're only going over some of the basic items here. So we're going to scroll down to don't keep activities. Turn this on will allow the activity to be destroyed once the user leaves it. We can also set a standard background process limit. That could be a good feature there. And we can also check out inactive apps. And these features, they're going to be great if you just want to see what is going on with your phone exactly, what processes are running, what apps are running, just to maybe save some memory, save battery life. Continuing on here, we can force allow apps on external, such as an SD card, and we can force activities to be resizable. I found this feature really useful when I didn't have the newest update yet and multitasking really wasn't an option. And remember, if we go to the top here, we can turn everything off like that, and that will disable all of our features that we just enabled. If you wanna just start all over, or you don't want any of these options on. Do remember though, if you go all the way to the top here, and you turn everything back on, you're gonna get this information here and you're going to have to turn everything back on it doesn't save it so you're going to have to start all over go through the list not a big deal but just wanted to let people know that it doesn't save so that's it for this video hope you found it useful make sure you like comment and subscribe so i can put more videos out like this and until next time let's crack this tech together and we'll catch all of you later